Hello everyone, this is Fallout Miku1028, and sorry I haven't uploaded in a while. Um, I've been going through some things and working on some things, and my computer won't let me upload, so I'm using Kinemaster on my phone, um, because my editing software is not working, and, you know, uh, it, it's great, it's great, but, <laughs> um... Today I will be actually reviewing and critiquing Creepshow Art's artwork. Uh, keep in mind, I do not support Creepshow, Creepshow Art whatsoever. Um, this is actually going to be a like video <laughs> being kind of mean, so don't think I'm like actually trying to help Shannon. No, <laughs> I'm just um, trying to look at her art and away looking past the situation despite how awful it was and seeing is it actually uh that bad or is it you know okay um i hope you guys like this video and go subscribe to emily artful she definitely deserves um um uh, all the support from what she's gone through and she's an amazing content creator so yeah let's get into the video so the first piece I wanted to talk about was this one. It says effing queen on the crown. I'm not going to say that word because I'll get demonetized. Um, But this, besides the eyelashes, is basically the epitome of Creepshow Arts style. As you can tell, there's like the graph and the weird pattern as the shading which can look good and looks all right in this piece i suppose but it's so overused in her drawings it kind of weighs everything down not to mention uh there's details in the face but there's not many details like for example the nose there's too many details yet there's not enough details on the eyes or eyelashes and i can't even see the eyebrows Something else about this piece is um, the facial expression, although expressive, just looks awkward and um, it's not something I would want to draw personally. Now, despite the fact that Shannon is a bad person, I'm not going to say that this piece is necessarily a bad piece because I've done plenty of bad art in the years and I actually used to look up to Shannon when I was younger, maybe around 15, 16. And as pathetic as that is to say, I do not think, even with everything that she's done, that this is a bad piece of art necessarily. But, you know, I'm only 18 and I haven't gone to art school, so I don't know. This piece is some Ready to Glare fan art, and I'm actually a pretty big Ready to Glare fan, so when I saw this piece originally, I liked it, but looking back on it, it is worse than the previous piece. Uh, first things first, the lines are too thick around the neck area. Um, although it's meant to be a part of the hair, and I do think that the hair in this drawing should have thicker lines, it looks too much like the neck like um the way it's pressed up against it also the eyelashes um there's detail on the bottom lash but not on the top lash although this could be done right in some art pieces it does not work well for this one uh, another thing is there's no uh detail uh on the face yet there is a lot of detail on the eyebrows which kind of throws uh the piece off and the nose looks kind of off, as well as the fact there is no shading in this drawing whatsoever, uh, as far as I could tell, at least. And um, once again, um, the hair has that graph pattern or, like, I don't know, flannel pattern? I, I don't know, because I want to say flannel because it's the same, like, pattern, but it's black and white, so I just think graph all of a sudden. Um, this would not necessarily look bad, but the way it uh, contrasts with the rest of the drawing, it just not it just does not look good, especially since there is no shading or other patterns in the drawing that would complement it. Now you could argue that this would make the um, checker uh, graph flannel pattern stand out, but I think it just makes it look tacky. And up here, the graph in the background goes through the 
hair and beanie, although I would say this is nitpicky. Um, I just don't think this is a good piece. Um, I do love Ready to Claire, of course, but I do not think this is good fan art of her. Uh, there is things that can be improved upon, and I'm sure I was just as bad as this uh, a few years ago. In fact, I'm positive, but um, yeah, I just don't think this piece is good whatsoever. This next one is kind of creepy, especially since it says look out on it, and the person in the drawing looks similar to Emily Artful. I'm just saying that because of the uh, face shape and um, haircut, but... Um, I know, I'm sure Creepshow didn't intend this at the time, but it seems almost foreshadowing. Now let's get into the critique of the art. Uh, based on the fact that you can see um, the hair underneath the look out thing, you should be able to see the eyes too, unless this is some eyeless monster. Another thing is the weird pattern in the hair. Once again, this could work depending on your style, but there's nothing else in the drawing that would make it stand out in a good way or complement it whatsoever. And um, it's almost as if Shannon was just way too lazy to either just draw lines or, or do a basic shading or whatever. Now, I don't like calling artists lazy because I'm an artist myself, as you could see in the beginning of the video. And lots of little mistakes I made as a younger artist could be considered lazy as well. And I don't mean it to come off as mean, <laughs> despite the fact that Shannon is an awful person. But, um, yeah, overall, there's not much to say about this piece. Sorry, I couldn't really get it in high quality. You couldn't really find very much creep show art artwork uh, after the whole drama happened. So, yeah, not much to say about this piece. No, I really don't like this drawing. Now, the idea is good. A uh, woman with beautiful black hair and flowers and a pretty skin tone. Yeah, that that's a good idea. But um, there's a lot I have to say about this piece. Um, up here, for example, the hair does not connect well. It looks like she's wearing a wig or something. Unless the character was meant to have a wig, then I'm sorry. Um... The shading behind the flowers is weird, but if you do uh, cartoon work, uh, inconsistent shading is fine. Another thing is the eyes are kind of wonky, but I accidentally draw wonky eyes all the time, so I I think that's more of a nitpicky thing. Um, I'm proud that she didn't do the um, graph on the hair. The hair still looks bad, but at least she didn't do the graph thing on it. Um, other than that, other than the weird shading behind the flower that might not even be there, be, might just be there because of the image quality and the uh, anime shine on the hair, there's no, like, actual shading except, like, a little bit on the lips and the eyebrows and eyelashes are way too detailed for the rest of this drawing. Um... There's no background, but I do that kind of thing too, so I won't really fault her for that. Also, the nose looks very strange. Like, there's too many details on it and not enough at the same time, and I just really don't like this drawing. I get where it was uh, supposed to go, but I do not like it. Also, I do not like that the eyes don't have white in them. Like, the eyes look like they're made out of skin. I like I had this problem with anime too when they just color the um the white part of the eyes the same color as the skin it's like well do they have eyes it's like yeah o honestly there's not much more to say about this piece so yeah that was um me reviewing um Creepshow Arts artwork in like a non-biased sort of way despite the fact that she is a terrible person. I feel like I need to reiterate this. I just wanted to make a fun video even though <laughs> the whole Shannon situation is absolutely disgusting. So if you're doing research on making like a Shannon documentary, I want you to see this video just because, you know, there's a lot of terrible stuff that happened. Um... I hope you guys like this video. Uh, please do like, comment, and subscribe. I'm still trying to get to a thousand, um, despite the fact, yeah. Bye.